Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel is Julie Entertainment, and today we'll once again be looking at theories and timelines of popular MMOs, The Crafting Dead. Last time I did episode, I believe, 38 through 40, and now we've got episode 41 through 44, which have been released, and I'm going to give on a theory about that. But first, we're the timeline. Episode 41, we should help Evil Jen Missing. Oh, by the way, if you don't want spoiler alerts, just head over to the part where I start theorizing. Just skip ahead a few minutes. Uh, so, first, should we help Evil Jen Missing? Well, with Evil Jen, she reveals that C is actually a good guy, and that uh, C wants to destroy Hero Brian too. So, the whole question is whether they should help Evil Jen. Now, Evil Jen has a plan. It's that she's going to lock up all of Pat and Jen's friends, so Hero Brian will think that Issy's still loyal, but she's really going to be helping Pat and Jen plot against them. Uh, and in the end, they agree to start helping her, and all the friends get locked up, but they also decide to help her, so they're all pretending, except for uh, the two ogres, Sally and Chewie, I know Sally and uh, Crazy because they're still injured. Boulder because he's Boulder. He does. He'll never want to get locked up. And Lenny because Lenny's a little jerk and he doesn't trust Jen and Pat at all. And then we head over to episode forty-two. Hero Brine's house mansion uh, missing. Now they go and uh, try to get Hero Brine, and. They uh, find his house is in the giant crater where they blew up Bob's original house, and as you can see in the picture, it is a massive skull, uh, which is pretty crazy, and bleh. So, they go in the skull, and they steal all of his weapons, and it's pretty bad uh, for Herobrine. They're like, haha, we took all your weapons, and they run away. Now, episode 43, the prison secret missing. They go to confront Herobrine, and they want to kill him, but Herobrine once again talks them out of it, and he's like, Mwahahaha, Pat and Jen, I have a friend of yours who's actually still alive, and he's locked up. Now, if you, wanna if you want him to live, I'll give you the key if you give me a stack of nukes. In the end, Pat and Jen break and give him a stack of nukes. Which is really bad because now he uh, Hero Brian has a stack of nukes. It, but they go and they go to the cage and guess who's alive in the cage? This is the major spoiler alert. Start uh, major spoiler alert now in effect. Who's alive? Not Skittles. Not uh, any of the ogres. But Bob is still alive. Dun dun dun. Bob is still alive. Oh my goodness gracious. Ah. Uh, and they're like, oh, he's alive, but can we trust him? And they bring him back home. Now, episode 44, everyone gets blown up. Now, this is a pretty intense episode. Uh, they uh, free all the people. Uh, well, in the last episode of the prison uh, secret mission, uh, they re release everyone in the other house, the one with uh, the disguised man and Skittles. In that group, they freed him because Evil Jin was now guarding the normal base. But in this episode, they go, uh, and the ba that entire building gets blown up. Meaning, it's possible that Skittles and a disguised man and Bombi and uh, everyone else in there are all dead. Which is pretty suckus, and they're really sad, but they think they're still alive. And in other news, uh, Bob is now a big part at the uh, normal base. And Sally, the ogre, has fallen head over heels for Bob, while Bob thinks that she's extremely creepy. So, <laughs> that's really, that's something, of course. And then we get left at the cliffhanger of, it, are they alive? Are they dead? What's going to happen? Oh, no. And that's what we've got for the episode 41 through 44. Now, my theories. I think they're alive because they would never kill off all those characters at once, I think. Because, uh, I think, Skittles is one of the best characters in the series, uh, by far. Uh, I know, why do I keep saying Skittles? Jelly Bean. I meant Jelly Bean the whole time I was talking about Skittles. Skittles is dead. I got the two mixed up. Jelly Bean is the one that's still alive. Uh, but... We don't know the uh, fates of them. I think they've probably been captured or something, or they survived somehow. Uh, 
I am, the disguised man is one of my favorite characters. He uh, used to be so awesome in the series, so I hope he's not dead. Uh, but it's been a whole uh, a while since we witnessed a death. Uh, episode thirty nine is when they last died. Uh, when the ogres died. Uh, so it's been five episodes since a death, and the first gap was two episodes. So I think that yeah, we could be witnessing at least one or two deaths events very soon. Uh, because due to the process of uh, Herobrine saying, I'm going to kill them all, uh, it seems that they're going to die horribly. Uh, and it seems like they're taking a big break because they're going to build it up and they're just going to kill a bunch of people. So I think that at least one or two of them, probably Jellybean, is alive. I doubt they're all dead uh, yet. But I bet they're going to die in the future. And I still, my theory of an evil Pat coming into the series is still standing. I still think there's going to be an evil Pat. And I think soon they're going to go and blow up Hero Brian's house. They're going to just destroy everything. And he's going to be quite destroyed. A giant uh, crater of death and destruction. Yay! Well, if you enjoyed this, go check out my other Timeline Theories videos. I've done it on all the episodes from episode 1 all the way up into episode 44 at this point. And as I'm recording this, episode 45 is going to come out soon. So there's going to be more theories and timelines on the way. And until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Azuli Entertainment. And goodbye!